the Shah Sikh Advisory Council uh, has put together a, a very nice course on hermeneutics, uh, a basic course that is uh, um, basically focused on three things. The qualities that one needs to do hermeneutics, the Vaishnav qualities, the principles, uh, the key principles of hermeneutics, and the tools that you use to apply those hermeneutics, those hermeneutical principles. So qualities, principles, and tools. And all of these have, have been, are produced after doing a lot of very thorough research uh, into uh, Srila Prabhupada's teachings, his books, into our uh, acharyas, the parampara, into the broader Vaishnav tradition, so that everything is grounded in, in our tradition, in Shastra, uh, uh, every, all these hermeneutical principles and tools. And I mean, the entire paper itself is, uh, I don't know, maybe 150 pages, something like that, maybe more. Mm -hmm. it, it's massive. I mean, if you see the amount of hermeneutical thinking that is there in the Vaishnav tradition, it is jaw dropping. It's amazing. How many tools are there given by great acharyas, given by Prabhupada? I mean, it's really a lot. So none of this is invented. It's, it's really quite amazing. But anyway, uh, that is quite overwhelming. It's there for those who want to dive deep into it. But also we've tried to condense it into uh, a several day course uh, where these are the basic method for how to do hermeneutics is there. Uh, so that as devotees, we are going to face these questions all the time. Sometimes people say, well, you know, if the acharyas have done hermeneutics, why do we need to do it? If Prabhupada has done it, why do we need to do it? Because we are faced with these questions practically every day, right? We have to read and we have to explain and we have to understand. Prabhupada says this. Why does he say this? What did he mean when he says this? Uh, there's controversial statements by Srila Prabhupada that we are constantly faced with. There are controversial statements in Shastra that we are faced with. There are controversies that did not exist a hundred years ago, that exist today. There are challenges and new issues and technologies where devotees are asked to say, what are your views on this new technology, on this new medical procedure that did not exist a hundred years ago, right? And we have to give some Shastric understanding. So how do we do this? How do we deal with controversies? How do we apply Shastra to current contexts, current applications? Uh, this, is, this is the heart of what hermeneutics is. And this is why this course has been developed so that we can appreciate what Prabhupada has given and apply it properly. Again, within those boundaries, but with, still with space for creativity. So the course is there um, and it's, uh, the pilot has been done and it's been revised and now um, hopefully it is going to be offered uh, more broadly um, uh, to different groups of devotees, whoever's interested in this, but especially those who teach Shastra, especially those who are in leadership positions, who have to deal with the most difficult questions on a regular basis. For them, it would be especially valuable uh, to study this more deeply. And our idea is that, that the Shastic Advisory Council uh, has hopefully done a lot of the hard work for devotees by mining, by sifting through our um, Vaishnav literature and finding those principles and tools which will be useful uh, to uh, devotees in these ways.